Hello, I'm Suzanne Forte, and thank you for watching Around APD. In this episode, we're talking to Lieutenant Rick Mason, commander of the Narcotics Unit. We're going to learn about officers serving in this unit and how partnerships with various law enforcement agencies help to increase public safety. Before we get into the feature story, here are three things you might have missed if you're not following the Atlanta Police Department on social media. Officer Lightcap arrested a burglar with help from the community. A resident noticed a suspicious man peering into houses. The resident got a good description, immediately called 911, and shared the photo with Neighborhood Watch. Using information from the community, Officer Lightcap was able to arrest the suspect and connect him to several additional crimes. Remember, if you see something, say something by calling 911. An off-duty Zone 1 officer was driving when he witnessed a robbery in progress. He followed the perpetrators onto a local college campus, stopped the vehicle, and apprehended the six perpetrators with help from campus police. Stolen items from two separate incidents were found inside the car. The suspects were arrested and charged with robbery. Police in the Park kicks off on Father's Day. For the second year in a row, the Atlanta Police Department will host three Police in the Park events. The community is invited to meet officers and receive information on free department resources. This year, APD is partnering with the City of Atlanta Department of Parks and Recreation to provide entertainment for families and children. The Parks and Recreation Playmobil will be stationed at all Police in the Park events and features several outdoor activities, including board games, scooters, and crafts. The first event will be held June 21st from 1 to 4 p.m. at Grant Park. Please check APD social media for additional dates and details. Today we're here with Lieutenant Rick Mason, Commander of the Narcotics Unit. Lieutenant Mason, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So you're a department veteran. How long have you been with the Atlanta Police Department and what do you like most about your current assignment? I've been with Atlanta for 22 years. Of the 22 years, about 19 years have been specializing with narcotics. And I've been the commander of the narcotics unit now for a little over three years. The ability to come to work not wearing a uniform the ability to be out of the office with the teams, doing the investigations, hitting the search warrants, arresting the people, is just, it's the greatest part of this job. So leading this department, what are you looking for? What makes a good narcotics officer? And what are the general steps to being assigned to this unit? First and foremost, if you can think outside the box, that will make you phenomenal at a narcotics investigation. They can become routine and boring you buy drugs, you hit doors, you buy drugs, you hit doors. But if you can think outside the box, you can take it up levels and get bigger seizures and, and bigger fish. Um, other characteristics that you need, you've got to be a team player. All aspects of the term, whether we're hitting a search warrant and somebody needs something, you just have to fill in. You need to do any job you're asked, you need to do any job that you see needs to be done. We don't need to tell you what to do, we're too busy. The narcotics unit has made some significant drug busts this year. What's the total street value? Approximate seizure so far this year is about $20.4 million. It appears that heroin is becoming more common. Are there any reasons why that we're seeing more in the Atlanta area? There's many reasons. Um, number one, we have more people becoming addicted to it. It starts out with the person becoming injured and they, they are prescribed like an opiate-based pill. After a period of time, they build up a tolerance to the opiates. They are seeking something less expensive that is more powerful, and they end up trying heroin. From that day forward, they become addicted to it. The problem we're seeing now is that heroin is now being laced with fentanyl, which is a very powerful drug. Unfortunately, the fentanyl they're lacing the heroin with is coming from China and Canada and South America where there's no FDA approvals whatsoever and we're not sure what we're getting. And I think that's causing a significant number of overdose deaths resulting from heroin. Well, so we've learned a lot today. We learned a lot about you. We learned a lot about the department and what makes a good narcotics officer and then some of the partnerships that help us with public safety. So I just wanted to say thank you again for your time today. You're very welcome. Thank you for watching Around APD. Be sure to subscribe to the Atlanta Police Department social media channels to learn more about department events and happenings.